All right, recording for Conspire Away, bitches. Hi, Kat. It is an honor, and I think it's clear that the bitches were conspiring against me, and that's why I'm sitting here today. As soon as Julie announced a double eviction, did you realize that you were in danger of going home? Walk us through your thought process and what inspired your fiery eviction speech. I knew that as outgoing HOH, even if it was a double eviction or a regular week that I was in trouble, I knew the target on my back was really big. I was hoping that it wouldn't be a double, so I would at least have time to plant some seeds and try to work some magic to convince people that I should stay in the event I didn't win the veto. So hearing that it was a double was definitely worst case scenario for me because I knew that I wouldn't have the time to make the pitches that I really wanted to make. That kind of led to my speech against Brittany. You know, at the time, it was me versus her. One of us was staying, one of us was going. I knew I would have regretted it if I didn't try everything and use all of the tools that I had to try to stay in the game. Um, I hate that. I know that it hurt her on a personal level that she was not expecting me to go in like that. But as a super fan, I hope she can understand that it was strictly game. It was not personal whatsoever, but that's definitely why I felt like I just had to throw everything at the wall and try to go for it because I love this game and staying in it meant everything to me. So I was willing to do what I had to do and I hope that we can be friends after. Not too long ago, you had promised Turner that you would not target him if he went through with putting Kyle on the block for eviction. Now that you have been evicted at the hands of a Turner HOH, do you regret that you followed through with this promise? I don't regret that I followed through with the promise. I think that, yes, on paper, it looks like it was absolutely the wrong move. But I ultimately think that no matter what I had done, if I'd gotten rid of Turner last week, I'd still be sitting here because it likely would have been Monty in power during the double. And Monty was very clearly coming after me as well. So... I don't think it ultimately mattered too much. Um, and even last week, as I was weighing pros and cons for everything, I never really wavered on wanting to honor the promise. I didn't want, you know, Turner did something that was bad for his game to do what he felt was right and what the house felt was the right move um, just on a, a personal or ethical level. So I didn't want to immediately turn around and, send him out the door after doing that. I didn't want the moral here to be that if you do the right thing, you're going to get screwed over. I think that people can do the right thing and not that they're even looking for a reward, but be rewarded and, you know, not punished immediately for it. So I don't regret upholding the promise. And I think it makes it easier to swallow that. I feel like it would have happened regardless. So, um, you know, he pulled the game move and I have to respect that for what it is. Kyle presented you with the cookout 2.0 theory weeks before you decided to reveal it to the house, resulting in some feedback from your fellow house guests. If you could do it all over again, would you have chosen to reveal this information sooner? Or do you still think that timing is everything? Looking back, I would have revealed the information sooner. I do regret holding on to it um, longer than maybe was necessary. Um, at the time, I felt like I was doing what was right and you know, also looking back, there was never going to be a right time or a golden moment where everything was perfectly aligned to to say things. Like it just it doesn't work that way. I very much feel that what Kyle was proposing, you know, was bringing in issues that transcend this game. But ultimately, we are still in the game. So any information that is presented and revealed impacts the game in some way. So no matter when I shared it. I think people would have looked at it as, you know, how are you benefiting from this? What's in it for you? Because that's what you kind of look at with any information that's shared. So I completely understand that people were skeptical about what my intentions were with the information that I had and the time that I received that information. I tried to do what I thought was best and I can fully admit that I made a mistake and I am deeply sorry for that. I've apologized to the people in the house and knowing um, how it affected people and what they would have liked to see happen, I do wish I had come forward sooner and I would definitely do it differently if, if I could go back. Before renoming you, Turner said that he needed to clear first place. Who do you think deserves to be in that first place spot? I think that Monty is playing the best game at the moment. He's played a very clean game. He has a lot of respect from people in the house, on the jury. I think that he definitely deserves to go far, even if I wasn't happy about his decision um, to take me out. I also think that Taylor deserves to go far. Uh, just seeing where she has come from week one and the game that she has played, 
Um, I'm very proud that she's still in there and I'm definitely rooting for her. Um, you know, as upset as I am that Turner took me out, I you know have to respect that he is playing a very bold and strategic game. So I think that, you know, based on that criteria, he deserves to be there. I don't think anyone in the final five is undeserving of being there. I think Alyssa and Brittany have a difficult path moving forward and really need to make things happen if they want to have a shot to win the game. But this is Big Brother and anything can happen. Looking back post eviction, was it necessary for you to win all of those competitions or would it have been better to just win only when necessary? Uh, looking back, it maybe wasn't the smartest thing to do to win all the competitions that I did. I've always said that managing your threat level is a big part of the game and something I clearly did not do that well at. Um, however, I know I would have regretted it more if I had thrown a comp and then been evicted that week than if I won too much and was seen as a threat. Things change so quickly in the house that, you know, if I'm in an HOH and I feel like I'm safe, you know, by that night, maybe I'm not safe anymore. Or same thing with the veto where I'm not a target, then I become a target between the veto comp and the veto meeting. And I threw away my chance to save myself. So I knew I would always regret throwing a comp and going home over winning too much.